going to put in a clump of trees first. It's a huge mass of trees way back in the distant background. And then we will come in toward the foreground with some closer trees. But, but this is all trees back here. And if you would imagine it's individual trees, but we don't want to paint every individual trees. What we want to do is come in here with some color. Brush is loaded with two or three different colors and I'll simply come back in here and let those colors mix on the paper. Can you see that mixing there? I hope you can. I'm going to add a little more blue to it. I got a little muddy because I mixed it too much on my palette. See, I need to just pick up that color and not stir it on the, there we go. Don't stir on the palette so much. And all those trees will just kind of blend together back there in that background. And I keep those brush strokes coming this way because that's the way trees grow. So there's that whole mass of trees put in at one time. But we're going to be working right in here in these little trees and see what happens here. Pick up a little bit of the golden colors. This is that sienna. A little, we'll add a little blue in there just to make it a little grayer. Right on. This is negative painting now because I'm going to be painting around this roof of this house. We'll come right over here with these. Let's put some pure, a little bit of pure old sienna in there. Isn't that pretty? We'll drop a little bit of it so that we now have a variety of color in there. A little blue to gray a little bit of it. We'll do the same thing down here. We're going to paint around this little building in the top of the roof. I'll, I'll clean my brush now and soften this edge with just clean water right here. And when it dries, you won't see anything. While we're in that same color, we'll come across here and put some of that in the background in this large area. This will be part of the trees in the middle ground, that really warm color to a little cooler color. And we we'll go back to the warm color, cut right in above that mountain back there and put an evergreen tree that's way back there because we have lots of those trees here in our area. We'll put those two in right here and we'll fill in the rest of these. And I think once we, uh oh, there's a tree. We're gonna do negative painting around that tree so that we have a tree trunk showing there. Look at that right there. One right here, negative around the house. Another tree trunk coming up, maybe a branch coming across, maybe one that way. And that's that tree, we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna clean that up right there with just water. Just soften that area and that'll do it. We're gonna finish the trees up now by putting in the evergreen trees, the dark evergreen trees right in here. Activated actually some old sienna, sap green, ultramarine, and I just go in and pick up each one of them separately. Get a little darker. Wow, that got almost black, didn't it? Let's add a little black up into that right there. It'll show it up really nice and see what we get in there. I'll add a little of the green and and old sienna again, change the color down in there so that it would get a variety there. And we'll come right on down. We have a, the, the tree trunk down in there. And we have some more down here. A little darker right there. And the first thing you know, we have this tree right there that's hopefully going to be a really neat little tree. So we'll go ahead and put it in at this time. And then when we come back into this area, with not quite that dark, but almost with our brush, we can make those trees kind of pop out right in there. And we'll add just a little detail. And I do that with a rigger and I hold it up here on the tip, hold this hand like that. And I'll just come up here and make that little tree just like that. Isn't that fun? Making these trees is good fun and so easy. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Thank you.